What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are getting back to viewer created cocktails. A lot of you have been asking me when I was gonna get back to this and I'm getting back to it now. Well, I'm getting back to it a, one video ago is when we actually got back to it, but I'm gonna start doing them a little bit more regularly. There was a minute where we were doing them a lot because I felt pressured to get through all of the submissions. I, I mean, I guess I just naively didn't think that. I thought that you know maybe I'd get 10 or 15, but I got like, like a few hundred, maybe even a thousand actual submissions of cocktails. It's gonna take me a very long time to get through them. We used to do five videos a week. We only do three now. So if you don't see your video shot or you don't see your cocktail portrayed in the video, uh, don't worry, I will get to it. You might be 50 years old when I get to it or you might be 50 years older when I get to it, but I will get to it, I promise. All right, today we are going to um, kind of split this video up in an interesting way. Some of you guys are not so happy with the talk, talk, talk. Some of you guys love it. So uh, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna read the person's submission email like I do in these videos. We're gonna make it, and then while we talk about the cocktails, flavor profile, we'll sort of talk about the uh, main spirit that we're using today and stuff and things. All right, so Dakota McM McMahon, the person that created this uh, cocktail. Um, I think, so wait, Marish and I were debating whether Dakota is a boy's name or not. I said it could be a, a boy, and he said it's probably a girl or a, a woman and a man. Uh, he says that Dakota is only a female name. I don't think that that's true. I think that there is a guy named Dakota that lives on a ranch, like in like Utah or something, and he's like, my name is Dakota. You don't think that there are people like that? I kind of feel like it's one of those kind of names. Like, like it would have been, uh, Keanu like it would have been a, uh, uh, it would have been a, a uh, Matt Dillon character in a '70s movie or, named Dakota. Uh, oh, you don't think so? With like a furry kind of jean jacket. I picture on. if if there was, it would be like a Keanu Reeves kind of guy. Or a Keanu Reeves guy. Keanu Reeves definitely played a dude named Daco Dakota uh, in some movie. He was Johnny Utah. If not, he was Johnny Utah. That's true. But you know what? Hey, you know what? I'm gonna write a movie. I'm going to write a movie for Keanu Reeves where his character name is Dakota because if that doesn't exist, it, has, it should exist. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. So Dakota, we don't, D Dakota, you can weigh in here on your gender if you'd like. Uh, because you don't know, maybe, um, maybe, uh, like, maybe Dakota's non-binary. Like, we don't know. There's lots of gender Where are you days. going with this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so, hello, Leandro and Marius. My name is Dakota McMahon, and I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm a huge fan of the channel and hope to continue to keep up, the, hope you continue to keep up the great work. I know you're already doing great work, so you don't have to, to continue to hope to continue it. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, I have a cocktail that I pieced together, and I believe you will enjoy it. It's a sort of combination of a bee's knees and the business. Marius just looked at me like, what? Isn't All the, right, Marius, weigh in. Come on, yeah. tell us what's on your mind. Well, isn't the business a play on the bee's knees? Yes. So this is a play on the play on the... It's a play on a play. It's a play on a play. But what's interesting is that... What's interesting is that a bee's knees is a gin cocktail with lemon and honey. Uh -huh. And a business is a gin cocktail with lime and honey. So this has all of the above? Well, yes, but it doesn't have any gin. Actually, the, the, uh, the, the, what, I, what caught my eye about this cocktail was that it uses Genepi de Alps. So Genepi de Alps is an alpine, it's like an alpine liqueur. Uh, Genepi is actually a reference to the, uh, the, the herbs that they use in this, which are from the Artemisia family. The Artemisia family is actually linked to absinthe, but, but they add sugar to it. This stuff, I'll tell you right now, it tastes just like green chartreuse and it's actually cheaper. So a lot of people ask me, well, green chartreuse is so expensive. I live in Australia, it's 130 US dollars. I almost fell over, it's $46 where I'm from. But uh, that's crazy, $130 for green chartreuse. The Genepi de Alps is made by Dolan and it's a little cheaper. This is what caught my eye though. So anyway, let's just finish the, the email real quick and we'll get into the cocktails for all you impatient people. Uh, business of the bee's knees and the business with a little twist. So I call it the busy knee. We have to talk about this. I'm sorry. I, I, I love this idea. Not so much the cocktail name. And this is coming from a guy that does not know how to name cocktails. All right. The recipe is as follows. Uh, okay, cool. Let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. We're doing three to one by volume. Now, for all you nerds out there that say, well, three to one by volume is actually more like five to one by volume because honey is denser than water, 
I don't care. The whole point, the, and I don't care that Martin Kate uses a one to one ratio because to tell you the truth, in my uh, in my uh, uh, opinion and in my um, experience, one to one honey syrup does not register as honey in cocktails. The entire point of three to one honey syrup is to take honey syrup, all right, is to basically make it so that the honey doesn't seize up. So here's the thing, if you use just regular honey in a cocktail, as soon as it hits the ice, it's gonna seize up and it's not gonna mix properly. So you add water to thin it out, but you wanna keep it honey. You know what I'm saying? All right. I think Graham will be proud of that uh, angry commenter voice. Oh yeah, that's my angry commenter voice, by the way, guys. I created a new character, I guess, but why would Graham be interested in it? That's what Graham does. Oh, does he do that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. Oh, me and Graham. We're like brothers in arms then. I love it. All right, then we're doing half an ounce of lemon. No, that's lime, sorry. Half an ounce of lemon. So lime, lemon, half, half. And then we're going to do two ounces of the Genepe de Alps. Mm. I mean, it's, it's like just like green chartreuse. I mean, it's not an exact carbon copy of green chartreuse, but it's basically like budget green chartreuse. Uh, two ounces of the Genepe de Alps. All right, we're gonna do ice in our tin, cocktail in our other tin. Give it a shaky poo. Look at you guys and smile. I'd like to smile when I find something funny, more so than just looking over and creepily smiling at people. All right, here we go. Let's get that in there. Double strain our cocktail. Double strain our cocktail. Doesn't say anything about garnish. There you have it, my friends, in all its glory. The Busy Knees. I, I, I can't get behind that name, I'm sorry. Let's taste it though. I, can, I think I'm gonna be able to get behind this cocktail though. Woo! Okay, here's the thing about this cocktail. It's very good. I wanna say it's, it, is, it is actually a pretty sweet cocktail. I mean, the Genepi is pretty sweet. Honey syrup, I think it actually, if you take a refractometer, it measures sweeter than sugar. I think that honey is actually the sweetest element you'll actually use in cocktails. That said, it has a savory element to it because honey is like not just sugar, it's like food. You know what I mean? It's like a food that's very sweet, you know? And then you have an ounce of uh, lemon and lime. I love the idea of lemon and lime because, the, because lemon and lime together create a very robustly citrus, kind of three-dimensional citrus flavor together. There, it, it adds a little... Dimension, it adds more dimension than one or the other to add both of them. Uh, and it's, an, it's a good move in cocktails. Um, and then the honey syrup, you know, but then the genipe is kind of sweet. But the thing is, is that I don't know if it's overly sweet. I mean, God, it's really pleasant. God, damn it. It's like the alpine herb flavor comes through at the end. Usually I would like, I mean, usually this is the type of cocktail where I'm like, oh, that's good. It's like, it's like a pretty sweet drink, but you know, honestly, it's just, I don't know. Dakota, I'm gonna say well done on this. This is, it's sweet, but it's sweet in such a complicated and interesting way. So there's some, so much going on in this drink. You've got the honey, you've got that three-dimensional citrus, that like complicated citrus flavor, and then that you've got the, the sweetness of the genipe, but it's like the the herbs, you can, they really come through, that like kind of alpine herb flavor really comes through on the back end. All of it is pretty balanced. Nothing overrides anything else. Um, it's, it was definitely, I, if I'm gonna nitpick, maybe I'd say take the, the honey down a quarter of an ounce, but I don't even know if that's, like I don't even know if that's really necessary. It's, I mean, I, I don't normally go in for four or five sips when I don't like something. And I really do like this cocktail a lot. It's really, really good. Mm. I don't think there was any notes on garnish, was there? I usually don't garnish, but I think a lemon twist would be great. All right, cool. Well, I'm just going to do this the way that you would normally do it by not garnishing at all. There you have it. Hunt, uh, Dakota McMahon's uh, Busy Knees. Uh, let's think up a better name for this cocktail, guys. Comment below with a better name. This is the specs again. Two ounces of Genepita Alps. Three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. Three to one by volume. Half an ounce of lemon, half an ounce of lime. Based on the business and the bee's knees. See, I'll see you in the comments. 
Uh, per first person with the best name will change the thumbnail to reflect that name. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon, patreon.com slash educatedbarfly. We've got awesome exclusive videos going on Patreon and we've really expanded it. Um, I told you to hit like and subscribe, but I'll also tell you to smash the like button, the like Graham Stefan does since I just did a Graham Stefanism earlier with my little voice. Smash the like button. I don't know. I like that voice. <laughs> my angry commenter voice. Uh, uh, so who, who's going to decide on the name? Are we going to decide that it's better? Well, I think what we're, this is what we're going to do. We're going to post the busy knees on the thumbnail initially. Mm -hmm. But I've just told everyone to comment below with better names for this cocktail. Whoever we think is the best name will get the uh, name on the... Um, Does Dakota have a say in this or we're just going to make the decision? <laughs> uh, I mean, I kind of like doing it by committee. I mean, Dakota is free to... Uh, is free to weigh in with a better name, but I will say that I did say that I, or weigh I, in that I did say that by submitting cocktails to my channel, I can take liberties, and I would be honest about every cocktail submitted. And I think this is a great cocktail, and I think it needs a great a great name. And I, I just don't think that Busy Knees is a great name for a cocktail that doesn't roll off the tongue. When you see that on a menu, I'll, I'll pass that by. Even if I I look well, I would look at the ingredients, but most people don't look at the ingredients when they go to a bar. They go like, does this, if people, most people don't know what Genepita Alps is. You know what I'm saying? So like, the thing is, is that people are going to look at it and say, busy knees, uh, this doesn't sound good to me. So you, like, this cocktail deserves a great name. So yes, in short, Dakota McMahon, you do have a, a, a say about the name. Uh, but I thought it would be kind of nice to sort of, uh, you know, name this cocktail by committee. Why not? I, I threw in my name already, so. What's your name? The Busy Bee. The Busy Bee. Ooh, not bad, Marius. Not bad at all. I still kind of want to run this uh, contest and see if someone can come up with that. Can Although somebody beat my bee is name pretty is good. Yeah. The question is, is there a cocktail named The Busy Bee yet? Don't know. Because that seems like a very kind of like on the nose sort of thing that people would already have thought of. Maybe. Maybe. All right. I don't know. This cocktail, I mean, this cocktail video is needlessly long, but I guess... Your whole thing is not many people watch this far, so who cares? We could just blather on and on and on and on. It's like, hey, save all the non sequiturs for later because nobody watches this long, right? Nobody watches till the end. Nobody watches to the end. Although every single time I say nobody watches to the end, all these people post comments going, end, 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 end. I watch to the end. But it means like 10, 20 people out of, uh, of 71,000 like people. Yeah. 71,000, yeah. All right. Well, that's true. I mean, I don't know. I guess we'll... You know, saying like, I wonder if people wa like watch to the end, like it kind of drives people to watch to the end, <laughs> which is, you know, hey, whatever you have to do. You know what I mean? All right. There you go, guys. Uh, oh, uh, if you guys decide to pick up a uh, awesome apron from our amazing apron sponsor, Staggerly Goods, just know that there's a code for 20% off site wide. It's Barfly SLG20 at checkout. And then uh, we also have a discount code uh, for Surfside Sips. We did not use those wonderful high-impact glass straws on this particular episode, but we do have a discount code with them if you're into saving the earth uh, from plastic straws and you want to get some reusable high-impact glass straws. Uh, go there and type in Barfly or Barfly20 at checkout. Both of those discount codes work, and you can get 20% off your order there too. All right, guys. Oh, and uh, Maria slapped, my, slapped me on the wrist for this other thing. Um, I got to mention that all of our beer, gear comes from Barfly Mixology Gear. They did not create our show, but they are our partner and our longtime partner. We love the stuff that they make, and uh, you should check them out. And also, just so you know, all of the stuff that we use is linked below, uh, and you can also take a look at the wider uh, selection of tools on our um, Amazon store. And when you click those links... Uh, it gives us a little kickback and it helps us create the show. So it's always a plus when you do that. All right, guys, I'll see you guys next time.